Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing your love life in the next three months. So what's gonna happen, if you're gonna meet anyone, what you need to learn in the next three months, all that jazz. So we have group number one, two and three, we're also gonna pull from the Astro Dice, so please choose your group now and let's get started. So starting off with group number one. Hello, group number one. So starting off with you guys, so we have the card of Vata. So Apologies for my pronunciation. I do try my best. So let me just look this up in the book. So number 31. So this card is all about the creative, the imaginative, the unpredictable. Creative one, it is time to let your ideas flourish. You've got an august of the Vata wind energy and are riding its waves out to deeper waters. Ideas are bubbling within you and your body has become a vessel for its creative blessings. Allow yourself to dance to the rhythm of your thoughts. Let them take you to higher places. The veil between the stars and earth has been lifted and the downloads you are receiving are straight from the universe. Be sure to anchor them down to this earth with action so your, visit visions, bleh, so your visions can manifest into reality. Beautiful. So for you guys, I feel like the best advice for you guys is to be creative. That is going to manifest your person. You're going to be at a higher vibration. It's going to be really increasing your flow and your energy and your emotions any emotions that want to come up will be released through this creativity so let's see what else we have oh beautiful we have happy happy there's definitely this kind of flow of energy here whether it's emotion whether it's energy whatever and then we have rose quartz open up your heart i actually haven't had this card yet so it's beautiful that we have that here today so absolutely beautiful so amazing amounts of flowing energy so Making sure to let your emotions flow, open your heart chakra, letting that all come out. And I think for a lot of you guys, you could have had your heart broken quite a few times. Your heart could have really felt the emotions that things are really, I think there's a lot of kind of concentration towards your heart chakra, okay guys? So you may be feeling like you're, you're more, more focused towards rose quartz or you're more just genuinely feeling more in your heart chakra. That is perfect. You are kind of in the incubation period and now you're starting to release. Some of you guys are in the incubation period. Some of you guys are starting to come out of that, okay? So let's see who is coming towards you. We have sextile opportunity, Leo, and we also have trine. So it could be a Leo, it could be a fire sign. It could be somebody who exudes Leo qualities. It could also mean that you're becoming your own lover, you're becoming your own person in terms of you don't really need a partner. Some of you guys who have picked this group, I feel like you guys actually don't really want somebody. You just kind of maybe pick this for, for fun or maybe for, you know, funsies. Um, but for some of you guys, there's going to be someone who is going to give you an opportunity in love and it's going to be a massive amount of flow. So there's definitely an element of flow here as an element of things kind of moving forward. So the person coming towards you could be a fire sign, Aries, Sag, Leo. Um, they could also just exude Leo qualities where they are very extroverted. There's someone who's really, really fun, someone who has a lot of experience in life and wants to give that to you. I feel like some of you guys, you could have curly hair as well or long brown hair um, or your hair could just be brown. Some of you guys, I feel like you really connect with waterfalls and um, agates as well, like the crystal agate. Um, some of you guys, I feel like this person, I'm just hearing this person has worked hard and they have a lot of maturity on their shoulders, on their back as well that I'm hearing. So they carry a lot of maturity on their back, they're saying. So there might be someone who's older than you, someone who has the letter S in their name as well is kind of coming in for me. Um, and they like sweet food as well. It doesn't have to be sweet, but they're showing me sweet. So they could be kind of um, kind of getting rid of sugar as well. Um, definitely an element of letting things flow and letting the energy kind of move through. And the more you let your emotions flow, the better, because then you can kind of move on to some happiness. Okay, okay. So let's see what else we have. We have the Nine of Wands, the Sun, beautiful, Leo energy, Wheel of Fortune, Two of Pentacles in reverse, and the Page of Pentacles. So it could be somebody you meet through work. It could be that you're trying to start a new work endeavor and that's how you meet this person. They could help you with a new work endeavor. And I feel like in the next three months, you're gonna have a massive realization around your love life or just this person coming in is that massive revelation. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could have been feeling really stuck, like you're not getting anywhere in your love life, that nothing is happening, single forever, that's kind of what I'm hearing, I'm gonna be single forever, which you're not gonna be, guys. Um, 
And I do feel like the sun is coming in to show you that this person who's coming in, you might be a little bit unsure about them at first. You might be thinking, oh, I don't know if they're the right person, but actually you're gonna invest in this person like you would a business endeavor, like a project or something. And you're gonna feel really, really amazing about this person. I feel like they might come from the mountains, somewhere like this mountainous, maybe like Canada, Austria, Switzerland, somewhere like that. Um, they could even be from London, which is very random London, England. Um, and they could have something to offer you in terms of money. So they might actually help you with money in your business. And that's how you meet them. They kind of help you with a certain thing in your business or with work. They give you work advice. Some of you guys, you can meet them at work or through work. So something to do with work and career. I feel like it's definitely to do with career as well. And it could be when you're juggling things within your career, kind of in the middle. And then when this offer comes in, that's when you meet your person, okay? For some of you guys, I feel like July is the most kind of prominent. I do feel like this is a timeless reading anyway, but July is kind of seeming quite prominent, okay? I do feel like this person could be born around December time as well. So that would make them a Sagittarius or a Capricorn, pretty sure. Um, yeah, and I do feel like I'm getting Scorpio energy in here as well. I'm getting a lot of water, a lot of fire. So if you guys, that could be um, a sign for you as well. So let's get your dice. Let's see what you've got coming towards you. Number one, we have Pisces, that gorgeous water sign. We then had Mars as well, which was all to do with the masculine. So if you're looking for a masculine, that's perfect. If you're not, that's totally fine, guys. I just feel like this person may have Pisces Mars. So they're quite gentle, quite spiritual, very open. I feel like for you guys as well, you need to open your heart more. For a lot of you guys, you could be feeling quite down and not wanting to open your heart. Very kind of uncomfortable and feeling like things just are not working out for you. But I feel like you guys are really going to open your heart and it's going to feel really, really good. For those of you, it's just needing to trust that everything's going to be okay and knowing that you are going in the direction of where you're meant to be going. You know, you are you are on the right path. And the Mars in Pisces is showing me that your person's most likely on the spiritual path. Like there's somebody who's very, very spiritual. So I think you guys are going to be a really, really good match. There's somebody who's very grounded as well. The relationship's going to be really grounded and very mature. And I think you guys are going to set up a home. So home is about... Uh, the roots of family, um, emotional foundations, mother, children, fem women. So it could be with that as well. Um, and I do feel like you guys are really kind of connecting to your path. And there's definitely an element of crystals in here as well for some reason. Uh, we, I mean, I do have a crystal card here, but there's something to do with crystals. Um, I feel like selenite for you guys is a very strong crystal as well. There's something to do with higher vibrational crystals in terms of like the crown chakra and, and third eye crystals is really, really good for you guys. Um, and I feel like this person's going to be very sociable, very extroverted, okay? So I do feel like you're going to meet someone in the next three months. Keep holding on, guys. You're going to be totally fine. Everything's going to be good, okay? So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two, let's get started with your reading. So let's see what's coming for you in the next three months in terms of your love life. Okay, so we have the card Dharma. So let me, oops, let me have a look into the book for this. So this is number 19. Okay. So this says your highest purpose, okay? This is your highest purpose. Congratulations, you are on the path to fulfilling your highest purpose. You have already unraveled deeper insight into why you were put here on this planet and are ready to share your gifts in a bigger way. You have realized that the obstacles you have faced were given to you for a reason and, you, and, and have provided you with the strength you need to show up as your highest self. The universe is ready for you to rise up into your Dharma role to uplift the vibration of this planet. Continue to listen to the whispers of your soul. So with this card, I feel like your person is with your life purpose. So once you discover your life purpose, that'll be where your person is. And this is not to say that just because you're not doing a job you like or you're not possibly where you want to be, where you want to be, doesn't mean you're doing you're not doing your life purpose. You know, 
we're always on our life purpose. It's, it's whether, it depends on how we feel about it, you know, and obviously we do have our life purpose in terms of like what we want to do to create a better world. But for a lot of us, you know, it can be just being kind to ourselves, you know, and things like that. So I feel like this person will be on the path in terms of your life purpose. And for some of you, it could be a career. So it could mean that you meet a person through a career or through discovering who you really are and who you are at the core of who your being is, or who, you, who you were brought on this earth to be, okay? So next card out is a change in the wind. So this kind of came out in the reverse. So I feel like for some of you guys, you could be feeling like there's no change, like nothing's gonna change for you. You're never gonna be out of this kind of funk of your love life. I do feel like there's massive amounts of change and because you are going inward and you're realizing who you are and you're transforming, this is causing this massive shift, this massive change. And then for you to realize what it is that you really, really want. So your person's most likely have going through this as well and going through their change so you both can meet at the same time. I feel like both of you are like butterflies where you're kind of, I feel like for some of you guys, you're literally just bursting out of the cocoon right now and you're discovering who you are, okay? We also have Chris Acola, start fresh. Exactly, so this person is gonna be starting fresh with you. They're gonna be somebody who's on this new path with you. And starting fresh, I feel like he's kind of looking at your life in a different perspective as well. Some of you guys, it could be starting a new work endeavor. It could be starting a new hobby. It could be the way you think about yourself feels more fresh, okay? You could be starting to eat more fresh foods, fresh diet, that sort of thing. Um, but I feel like your love life is definitely a new fresh start. I definitely feel like you guys are having a new kind of start to your love life. And blue represents the throat chakra. So you could be working on your throat chakra, working to really speak about your truth and how you really feel. You could also be speaking more kind of openly online as well and kind of letting things flow more without resistance. And also it's really being who you are in the face of things that really don't fit with you anymore. So if there's your family who are kind of being negative to you or if there is somebody in your life who you really don't enjoy being around, I feel like this is gonna kick things into high gear and kind of really shift you where you need to go and possibly that means you leave those people behind. But actually they weren't meant for you if they were being really horrible to you and being really kind of nasty to you, you know, you don't need that in your life, okay? So clearing out those people could also be your fresh start. So let's see what else we have going on. Let's see. So we have Pluto transformation, exactly that butterfly energy. Ninth house seeking, and we also have seventh house of relationships. So the seventh house reveals relationships and the ninth house is to do with travel and things like that. So the person you meet could be when you're traveling, obviously this will be more in the future when the restrictions are not on anymore. Um, but I do feel like for you guys, this could be somebody who's quite far away from you. They could be in the same country, so you could be quite easily able to meet the person. Um, also, it could mean that they're possibly you could be talking to them over social media. Um, you can meet them through social media. There's somebody who could possibly be a guru as well. Someone who you see as a guru, they have a lot of um, they have a lot of experience in life, and they've gone through quite a lot. They've gone through a massive transformation as well. This has given me kind of Aquarius fixed sign vibes, so Aquarius, Taurus, uh, Scorpio, Leo vibes as well. Um, I feel like for you guys as well, you could be meeting a water sign, and this person here, you could be friends with them first before you uh, are in a relationship with them. I feel like it's gonna be quite a slow process. For some reason, I feel like the starting the relationship part is gonna be quite slow, so actually being friends would be really comfortable for you at first. And also this marriage here is showing me that you could be getting married to this person. You could have marriage. Marriage is on the cards, literally, for this relationship, okay? So uh, let's see in terms of this person. Let's have a look into the tarot and see what the tarot has for us. Ace of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, the Tower, Two of Cups, beautiful, and the Devil. Wow, very, very intimate relationship, very strong sexual vibes, very like lustful, very kinky for some of you guys. Some of you guys, you could be a Scorpio, Capricorn, we've got water, we've got Earth here as well, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person you're most likely gonna meet when, you're, when your work is really, really thriving, that's for some of you guys. For others of you, it's gonna be when, you're, when you have a new work endeavor or you have a sudden shift within your work life. It could be even a perspective you have about your life, so possibly you can't actually change your work life right now, but actually you think, well, I'm here right now and I don't wanna move, but I, I don't, I, I wanna move, but I can't right now. I'm just gonna shift my perspective. And that actually shifts and has a ripple effect on your whole life. And therefore that kind of has this massive awakening and therefore you meet your person. It could mean that something shifts in your career and therefore 
keeps you in, on this path and brings you towards your person. You can have a sudden realization about how you're treated as well. And you're really starting to embrace who you are and not letting people kind of step on you or be horrible to you. And you're letting people kind of, you're, you're putting like your boundaries basically. And I feel like for some of you guys, you could be doing a, a job that's kind of giving, possibly a nurse, a counselor, uh, even a tarot reader. It could be something where you are giving to people and it doesn't have to be an actual career you could even meet this person through education i'm hearing you could meet them through university through school that kind of thing but i do feel like for you guys this is a very intense relationship and they're saying it's not to be taken lightly so i do feel like when i say that it's like you guys take it very seriously and i think you're really gonna like this person it could also mean that they help you um get rid of some of your shadows as well and help you reveal your shadows so you can clear them this person is also gone through quite a lot and I think this is quite a mature relationship. But some of you guys, you can meet someone, if you are young, I feel like if you're in school, university, you can meet this person and they're the same age as you. For others of you, it will be when you're at work or in a career or you're in between jobs and this person is most likely going to be older than you, I feel. Okay, so for younger viewers, I feel like it's going to be school or uni. For older viewers, I feel like it's going to be more to do with work or career or something that is... Uh, of a group with different age groups, different kind of ages. So say if you've got like co-workers, I feel like they're all gonna be different ages and therefore one of your, one of your, uh, sorry, your partner is going to have, is gonna be older than you. I feel like you're being drawn to pink and yellow flowers possibly. Um, you could also be given flowers, that could be a sign from your person. I feel like this person is, could be quite religious or they could have been religious, but they could also just be very spiritual and very open, but they also could have quite a lot of revelations about religion or they could just have quite a strong opinion on religion that sort of thing but I think it's a very fair opinion it's not kind of like oh this sucks this is good it's like I understand what it's like I understand that possibly I want to go into it or I don't want to go into it they just have some sort of opinion on like a wider view they see things from a bigger perspective so they could have quite a lot of sag in their chart as well uh, yeah, beautiful. Okay, so but a massive revela re revelation. I think for some of you guys, because you're investing in yourself, then you have a realization and something shifts within your energy. And then that's how you manifest your partner because you are focusing on yourself. Okay, beautiful. Let's see what else we have. Okay, we have Taurus, ninth house. That's right there. And then we also have the south node i'm pretty sure is this south node? south node so south node in taurus so south node in taurus i'm pretty sure means that the north node is in scorpio which this is scorpionic energy i'm really feeling that so if some of you guys if you're a scorpio or a taurus so say if you're a taurus you could be meeting a scorpio if you're a scorpio you can meet a taurus or if whatever star sign you are whatever the opposite of that is that could be your person as well okay so basically on the zodiac wheel there will be an opposite to each zodiac sign so that would be your person it doesn't have to be but for those of you who meet somebody who has this south node in taurus basically means that this person is learning to go deeper they're learning to really kind of acknowledge their feelings about how they interact with their own life and they're really actually acknowledging things now they're not just brushing under the rug they're really going deeper and i feel like this is actually helping them to manifest their career and therefore that brings you they bring themselves onto your path and that's how you meet them so that's your love life for the next three months i see beautiful things coming for you guys i really hope you enjoyed this video if you want a private reading all my information is down below and i'll speak to you soon bye oh also for you guys i really see temples and things like that this person i feel like is in a temple i really feel like for you guys just another message okay bye hello group number three let's get started with your reading let's see what's coming for you in the next three months so first card out is karma three i'm looking at the book guys because it's got some really good information in it so okay so karma positive karma the sum of one's actions you have done a lot of good on this planet and the universe is rewarding you in her favors life feels a little easier a little more colorful a little more beautiful you are walking on the path towards your dharma which creates the greatest karma one can experience by saying yes to the purpose of your soul you are saying yes to the greatest power of the universe continue devoting your life to the service of spirit and life will continue to unfold its wonders 
So basically, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you the uh, reverse of this as well. I didn't do this for the other groups, but I feel the need to do it for you guys. So I feel like you guys are actually looking into your soul really deeply at the moment and revealing a lot of things that you didn't think you knew about yourself. That's kind of what I'm feeling. So negative karma. Sometimes we take a wrong turn and move away from the direction of our dharma. At first, it can feel like a poke, which becomes a punch um, and conventionally manifests as an accident if you continue to ignore it. This isn't the universe going against you, but rather sending you messages that you're taking the wrong course. You must shift gears to come back into alignment with your dharma. Take a break from social media, television and social obligations and use that time to reflect. I feel like for you guys it's also the news as well, taking that time away from the news as well because it can be very, very, very negative. When did things become, begin to be difficult? What decisions did you make around the time? What alternatives could have better suited your sole purpose? State your commitment to surrendering to your highest self and doing the work it takes to get there. Things will change as soon as you do. So I feel like you guys are going for a massive, intense soul revolution. And this is t turning towards in your favour with your person. So you could feel like your love life is taking a wrong turn or it's not really kind of giving you what you want. I feel like you guys are actually being drawn towards a certain place. Okay, so say if you've been single for quite a long time, you're, you are really being led towards your, your purpose and therefore your person, okay? So everything you're going through hasn't been a waste of time. It's literally for this reason, so you can be on the path, so you can meet your person. Everything happens for a reason that adds up in some sort of way. For those of you who feel like you've picked this group and are an Aries, I've just picked that up really, really, really strongly. Aries. And then I'm a five, and I'm seeing a cauldron, like a stirring, stirring stuff up. <laughs> Okay, so if you've been crying a lot, that is a good thing, okay? And also if you've been feeling really tired, that's also really good. It means you're processing a lot of stuff. And also mending here we have. So definitely mending a lot of old relationships and old friendships. And I feel like you, this is going to help you to trust this new person coming in. I feel like you, you're the sort of person who's an old soul. You've had quite a few lives or you feel like you've been on this planet for a very, very, very long time. So we have pink opal, being kind to yourself. So this is going to actually bring this person in because the more you're kind to yourself, the more gentle you are with yourself, the more you're going to attract your person. And this could be in the sense that basically you're speaking negatively about yourself. You're not being nice to yourself. You're saying, oh, I look ugly or oh, I don't like my spots on my face or I'm too small, I'm too tall, I'm too fat, too thin. I feel like the best thing you to do is switch that around. As soon as you feel yourself doing that, switch it around. Because I feel like the more you're kind to yourself, the more you love yourself, the more you're going to attract somebody to you who's going to love you for who you are, okay? So let's see what else we have here. We have Taurus, third house, and we also have opposition. So I feel like this person could be the opposite to you, whatever your star sign is. And also I feel like you can meet this person through social media. I feel like this person's a really good talker as well they're really good at talking they're really good at kind of executing their words there's somebody who has like quite strong captions in their photos but on instagram or something but they're not kind of uh up their own bum <laughs> okay they're not the sort of person to be like oh look at me it's kind of like actually they're really profound and they make you actually think about your life because they've said that certain thing they could have taurus mercury as well they could have taurus in their third house as well um, I feel like obviously the third house is about dating. So I do feel like dating this person is going to be really, really nice. Very, very easy. This person going to help you see things in a different light. You're most likely going to be, oops, you're most likely going to be thinking about things in a different way because of this person reflecting things that is you, you know, they reflect things that are you and therefore you realize things and maybe you shift your perspective on who you are and on certain things that you do and certain things that you have done so maybe you're going to be like almost called out for it sort of thing by this person not to say that they are pointing fingers at you but basically they might do things that you think oh do i do that or they actually do everything all the good they actually reflect all the good parts of you as well so therefore you have just a really beautiful relationship and it just feels really nice so your best the more you express your best um, thoughts about yourself, the, the more this person's going to come in because they're going to, you're going to attract somebody who also has good thoughts about themselves. And it's going to be just a very positive relationship, very uplifting and very kind of motivational. They're going to be like your cheerleader. Okay. And also for you guys who have had, or feel like you have had negative karma, things where things have, things where things haven't worked out, possibly in relationships in particular or friendships, that is being mended now. That is going to be a massive turning point for you guys. And now is the time to mend things. 
And here we go, three of swords in reverse. So you guys are really realizing your potential and you're gonna have a lot of choice with this because you are letting go of the past. This karma is gonna be rewritten. You could also be a fire sign, as I said. I think I said that, yeah, I don't know. I channel, when I channel, I forget. Um, black cats could also be a very strong, significant thing for you and also sunflowers. And I feel like you guys could feel like a queen in this relationship. You feel very nurtured. You feel very strong. You feel like you can take on the world with this person. It's going to be like a massive power couple. And they could be somebody who also has their own business and you have your own business. Or it can, or it could be that you meet this person through your career or through your business or their, through their business, basically. I feel like this guy's... This, this person, I feel, sorry guys, I feel like this person is very much into fitness and they've gone through a very similar situation like this as well. Um, there's somebody who eats really healthy, they could have their own business in fitness, they could go to um, fitness classes and you might meet them there, uh, that sort of thing, okay? So let's have a look at the dice and let's see what's going on with this relationship. Okay, we have Virgo, we have the fifth house and we also have the south node. So Leo rules the fifth house and it's all about that positive kind of dating energy. So this is all about the um, like massive amounts of character in this person. Dating, really, really happy. And the fact that this is in Virgo is showing me this person's gonna be really organized. They're most likely gonna be the person who organizes going out, where you're going, that sort of thing. So the fact we have the Virgo in the south node means that you have Pisces north node. And it will mean that you need to start embracing empathy, which is funny because you have be kind to yourself and also seeing the unseen. So for you guys, this could be this person or it could be you where you're learning to um, connect more to your spiritual side, connect more to your emotions. And also it could mean that things are starting to crack open with your heart and you're realizing a lot of things about yourself and not to kind of put up with any kind of negativity or anybody who's kind of really making you feel really crappy, okay? And I feel like with the uh, North Node, it's all about our destination, our challenges. So the fact that we have this in Pisces, because we have Virgo South Node, would mean that you guys are going on a spiritual path in terms of you could have had a spiritual awakening quite recently, or you could meet this person through your spiritual path. So say you went on a spiritual retreat, or you could be following a spiritual account, and then someone messages you saying, oh, I see you following this account uh let's talk because in that same community you could meet this person through spiritual community but i do feel like this person is very very energetic there's somebody who's very organized as well they have a really good combination of organized and energetic <laughs> that's very random that's kind of a really interesting combination but i feel like you guys are really gonna uh feel really comfortable in this relationship it's gonna be a relationship that feels just really nice and i feel like you guys are connecting to your home and your family right now and I think this person is very much connecting to theirs and you're going to have that in common as well. But this is really, really positive. Because of this happening, you're going to get um, communication coming in from this person. It's going to be really, really positive. So I'm going to pull you one more card for you guys. I feel like you guys are the special group. So I always end up picking uh, an extra card for the last group. I just feel like I really want to. So beautiful. We have a page of cups. What did I say? Pisces energy. So I feel like this, this, this is upright. They're saying upright. They're saying once you shift your emotions, once you shift from the past, because Virgos can really focus on the past, really focus on what's happened before and not focus on the future, this will happen. So you may be manifesting a Pisces and also you're going to have just this massive revelation about who you are and where you fit in in the world, okay? So beautiful guys, if you want a private reading, all my information's down below. Some of you guys, I'm really, I'm hearing like a, like really loudly, like a jet engine, like a plane flying over. I'm not actually obviously hearing it in now but like in my intuition i'm hearing it like a an engine or something so this person might make things that involve an engine it might be a car mechanic that sort of thing i can just hear like a revving and also like a like this with like a like a motorbike or something to do with like an engine like a jet engine like a fan or something as well so that is your reading uh thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon if you want a private reading all my information down below bye